Hey ladies, this is your boy Link. We've got a very special guest today. We've got Brooke with us. Yeah. And we're going to Colchester Zoo to see some different animals. So that'll be fun. So welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Link and your, I was going to say your girl Brooke, but that sounds weird. I've never, <laughs> it's your girl Brooke. Like, I've, never, I've never said that before in my whole entire... Yeah, yeah, we've never, that's not, that's not a thing, is it? Like, we've never done that before. Um, yeah, so Brooks, my niece, we're going to the zoo today. Amy's with us, she's driving, like, we're not being driven by like a ghost or anything. But as always, Amy doesn't really want to go on camera, which is cool. Um, we need to go get some petrol, so um, we're going to my favourite petrol station, the Sport Road one, and um, I might end up getting a hot dog or something, to be honest, you know me. That's, anything can happen. Now out of the Asda on the move, so it's getting even bougier in here. I'm absolutely fuming because again, the rollover section's empty, and the freaking Tango Ice Blast thing is like dodgy. Them hot dogs is the main attraction of coming here. So I'm literally like fuming. So we're at the zoo now. I haven't gone in yet, but I'm very, very excited. You excited, Brooke? Very excited. Very. It's the 60th anniversary. I don't think they're here, but because it says on sunny days and it's not a sunny day, but there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it at all. Rainforest. One way only. Oh, it's hot in here. Like, there's no animals here today. Like, here we go. Hello, friend. That actually does look like a statue. It might be dead. Amy's found a tortoise. Oh, look at him. He's a fat boy. Over there, there's a, a sloth. Yeah, sloth. It's called a sloth, bro. Sloth. He's just chilling, having something to eat, look. Little, little capuchin. Brooke can't get about cute now. She, Brooke wants one as a pet now. Yeah, we were going to kidnap the iguana, but Brooke wants me to kidnap her monkey now instead. So that could go well. In one of the chimp cages, it's just a pair of boots. Like, I don't know what happened to the owner of the boots, but it doesn't look very good, does it? And the body look. Hanging up here, like just, just, yeah, that's where the chimp obviously put the body when they were done. Some dodgy zoo. This is pretty dodgy, yeah, I'll be honest. Friend? I'm ruining the zoom here. And there's also like a brown chimp instead of a black one. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a, like a gingery chimp before. Um, it's not the best of angle, I get it. But <laughs> what's, I don't know what's happening to him as well. He's got, um, Prolapse, I think. <laughs> so is he. Um, I don't know what is going on, but um, YouTube might flag this video based on that body now. But um, that one looks even worse, to be honest. What is that about? Some hornbills. They look like the most active thing we've seen so far. There's a red panda up there. Um, all you can see is like a gingery kind of blob. Brooke, Brooke has a plan, Brooke has a plan. <laughs> plan did not work at all. Plan worked, look, here you go, here's a red panda. It's not a picture, he's alive, I promise, I'll stroke him. Um, he's up there, I can't see him. So, here's some pretty leaves size of panda's hands and brooke's hand fits exactly in the gap like exactly like look at that that's so weird that is scary like if we compare mine i just mine, done it as a joke yeah brooke did his joke and a hand fit like mine doesn't fit but brooke's was exact so that's it's a little bit creepy i think <laughs> someone did it when brooke was asleep they like molded her hand gang of all is there i don't know if you can see them you can see here we go Okay, they're going indoors. I thought they were coming to us. That's a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. I thought they were running over the way I'm stood, but they went inside. Have a look at this big bloke. We just saw a statue of one and it looked massive. 
So we can't believe they're actually as big as they look. Look at this big bloke. It's huge. Massive. Let's route to the lemurs. I know it's not that generous, but my other coins are 50 p's, and um, I don't think that would work very well. We'll try it. Right. Ready? Like, we'll try 50p, but I don't think that would go very well. That actually was better than I thought. I'm scared I'm going to drop my phone because, look, it's a long way down, but there's the lemurs. Little ringtail ones. And there's also some um, crows down there. And there's also a train. I had a pigeon as well, yeah, that's right. There's a pigeon and a train full of people. That looks, that's the Madagascar, the lost Madagascar Express. Sounds very exciting. A little flock of flamingos, which always makes you think of Peter Manley. If you know, you know. And then up there in the distance behind the trees is some more flamingo. Flamingo or flamingos? Birds. There's more birds. There's some more, the case of the lost wellies. Um, they've got some gelada balloon. I mean, they're made out of like Italian ice cream. A balloon. Did I say balloon? Okay. Brooke thinks I said balloon. I thought I said baboon. We'll find out when I edit it. Some gelada balloons. Um, that's, I, I, I'm not actually filming any of them. Like, there's some in there, but I keep missing them. I need to wait for something to move. Yeah, it's a lovely load of trees, and like, honestly, these things have been here 20 years, but they look brand new. Outside now, and you can actually see the otters. And to be honest, this otter chaos in there. <laughs> Brooke liked that joke, at least. Big old python. Yeah, so there's some um, zebra. And I think they're a rear. And an antelope. Welcome to Africa. There's some elephants in the distance. African elephants, if you if you care, what species they are. There's a trio of rhinoceri, or is it rhinoceros or rhinoceroses? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Or it's rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, rhinos. I guess is fine. I don't know, but yeah, there's there's three of them. And as Brooke says, I'm talking a lot of waffles today. Bit, but no. you want to try the I'm not as strong as a tiger, let alone an elephant. Oh, what's that? It's not a tiger, almost on. Just no. Hands, they're ruined. The elephants have come a lot closer now. It's weird how brown they look from all the mud. Like, obviously, you think about elephants being grey, but where they're like covered in like sand and mud they look proper like orange uh, okay my camera doesn't want to focus on these like this vulture here i love vultures at the moment like especially like if you saw my vlog for my birthday when we went to the birds of prey place i love vultures this is a pygmy hippo and i told brooke they've got pygmy hippos but she thought i said pick me hippos <laughs> so it's quite funny because um it's not a pick me hippo it's a pygmy with a G, because it's a little hippo. And he's coming to see me. I told you it was a pygmy hippo, didn't I? It's coming to be picked. Hello. Hello, little hippopotamus. There's another one of the, the pygmy hippos. It's very cute, he's having some hay. So we've now got some I was going to say Malawi, but actually, I think these are from Lake Victoria. Um, or maybe Tanganyikans, is that SP44 maybe? Um, they're definitely not your average Malawi. They're not um, like Mbuna or anything for the, the fish aficionados amongst you. Lake Victoria cichlids, see I know my fish. Um, there's an African lungfish in there, but I haven't seen that. 
and then it says Lake Victoria Sickness, Haplochromus Nyari, which I'm pretty sure is SP44 in the aquarium trade. So there you go, I know my stuff. Yeah, but... <laughs> uh, yeah we weren't having a debate. I thought the big, the little one outside was the baby, but apparently there's another baby. So let's look at the place now. We've got clown sugar, monos, puffer fish. Um, I want to say dog face puffer. I'm not sure though. Um, squirrelfish. There's an emperor angel. Look at that. That's so nice. Lake Malawi signals have been moved to this tank here. So, all these fish are like aquarium species that are just sold in the like aquarium, like hobbyist shops. You can like go buy any of them fish with them. It's really weird. It's got all the little giraffe. They're indoors, I think, because it's cold. But I don't know what that noise is. That doesn't sound too good. Something like hoovering or something. Oh yeah, Bugs. Bugs just spotted. There's one right in front of us, but he's not like his head's not poking up to see it. But he's just there. Hey, here we go. <laughs> made Brooke jump. How cute is that? But giraffes are so cool. Might be the mum of the baby, but there's no baby in sight. A live video of the baby, which is just gone running outside. There's no baby out here, so it looks like it ran outside in the camera, but it's not here. How weird. Here we are walking there, but there's also like, I don't know, some sort of like lesson or something like that. Lesson. So you keep it experience day or something. It's a Sunday, so it's not a school. They're a bit old for a school trip, to be fair. But um, I think there is a baby in there with them. They've got loads of little bush dogs. How cute are these? They're going on the train here, for the lost man. Yeah, Brooke wants to see the wolves. We just saw them. She's like, they look like wolves. I was like, they are wolves. Bro. That's what a wolf looks like. So very exciting. A little bit larger than females. As you can see, they have a lovely thick fur coat. This is actually their winter coat, Africa. Now, if you feel you want a bit more, make it fall Yeah, I would like it either. Hello, hello. 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 Oh, this one, come on, take a picture. Yeah, so you can get his face. Yeah, because that one, like, it's like the guy's on it. So yeah. Like, take a picture. Yeah, you want to like, turn around. He's beautiful. Wow. He's big. They're so cute. He's just a giant cat, so there you go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Look. I've just spammed you with like loads of tiger footage. They're my favourite, so we stood there for like ages. But I think they're cleaning their enclosure or something, which is why they're not running around outside. Look at these condor. Oh, huge. Look at them. Beasts. The head is tiny. And the head doesn't have feathers on because they eat like dead animals. So, because they eat dead animals, the head doesn't have feathers on so they don't get dirty. So I just taught you, taught Brooke and all the legends something there. Have a look at this big bloke. I've got a Komodo dragon here. Have a look at this. It's supposed to be Steve Owen, not David Attenborough. Okay, I failed. I did say bloke, yeah. See, Steve Owen. Look at him, mate. he's like a dinosaur, man. It's the same thing. <laughs> Green anaconda, that is like literally in the game. He's screaming. And you can see his little breath, I don't know if you see it on camera, but you can see his like, his, like, like when humans breathe out and you have like the hot air, you see that coming out, it's crazy. 
So we're in Penguins now, waiting for some pizza because we had pepperoni and I had to like make it to order. So I'm waiting for this little thing to start vibrating and then I'll go pick my food up and hopefully it'll be nice. I feel like I'm walking around with a bomb because it's like going off. Here is my pizza from Penguins. Brooke got the same as me. Cheese is a bit stringy. Amy's got a jack of potato, it looks good. It's a little bit of It's like a horn. A weird look. Is it a horn? I don't know. Look at this. And these, these are packers. And um, my mate Dave, who keeps fish. Hi, if you're watching Dave. Um, he used to have packer, and one of his packers ended up at Colchester Zoo. So I don't know if it's still here, but one of these paku, or one of the paku that was here, used to belong to my mate. There's a little row over there. I pulled you up. There is some. Are they called Brazilian cichlids? They're like related to, they're like the fish that flower horns are kind of bred from, I think. Um, that might even be a flower horn, that one, to be fair. But yeah, like Central American, South American cichlids. And you will receive a sticker of one of our very cheeky sea lions in exchange for a donation. Then feel free to head over to Brogan after this display. But for now, thank you very much for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your day here with us at Colchester Zoo. Wow, cool, huh? I was really interested about more fish, right? No, these things eat fish. Wow, they do. That's why there's none there. Huge tinfoil barbs, look. Commonly called diamond sharks, but they're not sharks. They are barbs. And these are rosy barbs. And cherry barbs and stuff. Some little textures as well. Archer fish. They're a really fun one because they can spit out the water. That's where their mouth points up. They can like shoot water out of the water and then kill bugs. That one's a Maury. So many regal tangs. It just makes me want a marine tank again. I think we keep talking about it on the channel, but I'm desperate. We found the orangutans. This is so just a little one. Yeah, I'd like it to turn around. It's climbing up the cage. Look at that. Like using his leg to like prop himself up as it goes. I found a proper hang now. Look at here. This is what Brooke wanted to see, the little penguins. Little friendos. How cute are they? This looks like a Pokemon or something. This is partridge -a we found the meerkats now, so Brooke's happy. It's weird, because I saw meerkats the other day, so it's not like, as exciting as it normally is. Because I saw meerkats like two days ago. But they are still cool. He's just lying around. He's just chilling, mate. He's living his best life. It's so cold. But I've never, ever had Calippo slush, so I think I'm going to have to do it. I decided it was too cold for the sloth, so I've got another Avengers Coke. We're in the koi bit, and it's my favourite bit, as always. I love it. Brooke's made a friend. Brooke just nearly fell over, but we're okay, I think. I'd love one of these in my garden. Oh, we fed some of these at Stone and Barnes in my vlog for my birthday the other day, so if you want to see me feed some fish, buddy. Check it out. It's got a new pet, it's a giant snail. You having fun? It's not, they don't move it, isn't it? Is it heavy? Yeah, not really, no. The thing that tests how tall you are is for kids only. There's a height restriction, which, as you can see, I've just walked under it, so I'm definitely. Brooke's having a go now. Oh, she actually beat me. Did they say 17? I got 16, she got 17. Hey! Oh, bro. I can actually run faster than that because you have to like crouch underneath it though. Yeah, you have to, yeah, to make sure you don't knock your head off. It's for kids, but. Well, Brooke just beat me. Ha. 
I'm going to go feed the goats, but I'm quite scared. We've paid a pound to feed the goats, but they all just keep running away. Hey, here we go. There we go this time. Hey, buddy. You go. Nice. This one's come over. There you go. You're going to miss out. Come on, somebody. Come on, man. Oh, that one's in it. Put something in your hand. 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 Are you ready to go? Hello? Don't bite me. Good boy. Good boy. I don't have any left for you. Sorry. Well, it all came out. Thank you. Come back for more. Watch me wallabies feet, mate. Watch me wallabies feet. Can't sing it anymore, can you? That's banned. But yeah, there's wallabies walking around here, but none of them want to come say hello to me yet. Is it? We've got wallabies now, but Brooke and Amy are laughing at me because some kids just ran past the outside of the wallaby walk bit. And um, I thought they were getting chased by a wallaby, so I like went to like go protect Brooke and Amy. But it just looked like I shit myself, which I kind of did, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie, like, Brooke is finding it hilarious, but um, it's not fun for me. So we just fed the little lorikeets. Is that the first time we've done that, bro? It was fun, yeah, but... It's a bit scary. It's tried to eat the bracelet. Yeah, we didn't I've film like, it, but... I've got like a crystal bracelet. Like, they started trying to eat it. Yeah, they like, literally just started <laughs> a like... A, yeah, there. Brooke was getting attacked. And I had to like... <laughs> I was going to say I had to like punch it away. I didn't punch it away. That's really... <laughs> yeah, no, like, that's not accurate not at all. Uh, animal abuse. <laughs> yeah, no thing. animal abuse here. We just kind of gently um, <laughs> guided it away. Yeah, we shook Brooke's hand so it jumped off. But yeah, it was it's really... Like, yeah, because like two of them jumped onto me and then one of them started eating my bracelet and the other one was like climbing up my arm and I was just like, um, <laughs> Brooke's like, what do I do? And, um, <laughs> so yeah. I'm freaking out. So we've had a great day, but we've still got time to do Brooke's favourite thing. Which is gift shop. Which is gift shop. Brooke loves shopping. As you may know. Or you may not. Probably don't yet, but you know now. Okay. We're now leaving, but as we went past, we saw one of the sun bears is out, so... Brooke's got to see the sun bears. I'm really debating the top trumps, I'm not gonna lie. 60th anniversary, top trumps. How cute are these little elephants? So I'm really seriously debating like a little elephant tea light holder. Brooke is mine a frog key ring. Like, yes. literally, I can't believe it. It's cute. Is it? Yeah, it's cute. But we have both got like a little cute elephant. Yeah. And I've got some top trumps because I'm a big kid. 
Yeah. And Brooks just got a little postcard just because it's the 60th anniversary. Well, I can... You can't see the 60 on the zoo. You can. You can now. <laughs> so I'm home now after like a lovely day at the zoo. We've just dropped Brooke off and um, she gave me my birthday present. And I'm a little bit emotional. You guys know I love to get emotional. Um, she just made me a frame with loads of our different little memories in there. Like, like this shell... I give her when she was a little kid. It's one of them shells where you hear the sea inside it. And um, she's drawn me, her and Amy as little Lego people. And it's just got all different stuff that we've been getting up to and some little photos and just like tickets from arcades and stuff. And yeah, it's lovely. It's really lovely. It's 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 honestly one of my favourite presents I've ever had. I absolutely love it. So thank you, Brooke. And um, yeah, it's just so nice. It really is nice and... Yeah. I need to find somewhere to put it now. But yeah, um, I had a wonderful day with Brooke at the zoo and with Amy at the zoo. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, I don't know what the next vlog actually is. Actually, I do. Tuesday, I'm going to watch Ipswich Town versus maybe Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Exactly. And um, yeah, so the next vlog will be me going to watch Ipswich Town and... Um, yeah, I've just realised that there is a tear falling down my face because I'm a little bit, a little bit emotional because of how lovely this is. But it's, it's a nice tear. It's not a sad tear. Do not worry. But um, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go watch the actual Accrington Stand again Tuesday. Um, other videos planned. I've got some different reviews. We're gonna do another Prime video with Jaden. We just haven't set that up yet, so that's coming real soon. You know, me and Jaden trying some more Prime. Um, I'm sure Brooke will make another appearance on the channel soon. We've got some some sort of plans but yeah anyway honestly this is amazing and i'm so grateful that she got me this and i just like i'm just gonna show you a little lego link a little bit closer look at us look at me little blue hair red hat you know that the stubble the liverpool top i thought maybe she just got like a liverpool shirt like online design and cut it out but she drew it like honestly this thing is special and it says reesey that is what you know my real name is Reese, as we all know, not Link. But um, Brooks called me Reese since I was little, and yeah, it's just it's very special. Now you've seen little Lego Link, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Honestly, like I'm still a little bit emotional. You know, we you know emotions are fine, but um, I love it. Thank you, Brooke, again. And um, all that's left to say is I've been Link. You have been my legends. That has been Colchester Zoo, and I'll see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.